Welcome back folks. Today we are talking about Kira Arachne and we printed two Benchy test models. This is the Ghost Ship Benchy and on the left here this is printed with Kira 4.8. On the right we use the Kira Arachne engine. I've pointed out some major differences here using some metallic pens so you can kind of see. Um, let's take a look at Arachne first. You see this little lip here where it doesn't quite handle the bridging it needs to on the 4.8 side it is clean there is however this spot here where it does the same thing and on the 4.8 side if you take a close look it does do it up underneath there and on the other side as well the back port hole actually came out better with the arachne engine than it did on 4.8 you can see 4.8 had that same bridging problem there so it seemed to do the rounded surface better than 4.8 but the flat surface on the front window not quite as well so um, you can also see the randomized z placement on this model ended up giving me a big seam up the back here it ended up more random but it ended up very zitty so um, I probably should have changed this to sharpest corner, but I kind of wanted to see what the pathing in Arachne did to the placement of the seam. And it does make it a little bit more obvious when using random mode. Uh, both of these models had quite a bit of stringing, as you can see in here. That's due to these really intricate details on the bow that are supposed to be bones that go all the way around the ship. Um, there is a little, the ring creeper guy creeping out of this little bucket back here and the detail wasn't quite fine enough to see the face on either of them and remember I'm doing both of these models at 150 percent so they're a little bit larger than a regular Benchy um, for example here is here is a regular size Benchy uh, and then when you scale it up actually I think this might be a miniature Benchy but either way these are quite a bit larger to show the details so if we look at the tops here you can see that the top surfacing is both about the same. No over or under extrusion on either model. They both turned out pretty well. The Arachne engine do, did do a little bit better job of filling in the gaps, as you can see in this bone structure here, as well as in this ring structure here. So it's doing its job. And let's see if we can get a look at There is also another little guy hiding down in here. And quality on those came out about the same. The interesting thing about this model is it is a higher polygon model, so it did take a little bit longer to slice an Arachne engine. I thought it was going to stall for a minute, but it honestly took just about as long in the regular Kira. The thing is, this model with the Arachne engine actually took me seven minutes longer than this model, which is um, one of the things that I've heard a few people saying that sometimes the Arachne engine is actually adding to the print time and I think that has a lot to do with how many polygons you have and how complex your geometry is because with simple objects even large ones I've seen a great increase in speed and decrease in filament usage but with models like this where there is a lot of pathing to figure out I just don't think they have it quite there yet I have faith in them I'm sure they will um, but yeah it's just not quite if you take a look at the back the text also showed up way better on this one. Now this is the one without markers, so this is the 4.8 model. And you can see it says 3D Benchy Ghost Ship. On this side, I think there was a little bit too much vibrational ringing and it gets lost in there. You can kind of see it says something, but you can't quite read what it says. So um, the corners, really, really fine. The detail on the outer shells of both of these are really, really fine. There were a couple places down here when I printed the Arachne model where I was concerned, such as here, that the overhang was a little bit too steep in that crack there, and I thought that maybe that would just be an Arachne dependent problem, but no, it is, it is the model and the overhang itself, because you can see it is slightly worse over here on the 4.8 model, so I think Arachne did a good job of trying to cover that up. Um, this model did have to have support under the cheekbones, so you can see a little bit of burring here on both models but that is not due to the engine it's due to the type of support i use i use pillar support because i just wanted a little bit right there so um teeth i think came out a little bit better on this one so maybe a little bit of extra extrusion here in between um they just look a little flattened out uh all in all I like both of these prints very well. I'm not going to stop using Kira 4.8, but I am going to keep playing with the Arachne engine 
and any errors I find, obviously, I'm going to send in to Kira to give them some feedback. I think uh, everybody should help me out in this venture and download Arachne, try it out, find some pros and cons, and just kind of let them know if they're heading in the right direction or not. I personally, I think this is a a a good place to start. Uh, some of the other models I printed that were a lot less complicated, like I said, uh, the quality is still there, and I'm getting higher speeds using less filament, and in some cases, the quality is even a little bit better. So. Um, I think that just depends on your other settings as well, but I'm very, very encouraged with where this is going, and I highly recommend testing out Arachne. Just don't get rid of your current version because it is still in alpha, and it's got a long way to go. So um, that's going to be it for this quick video. I just wanted to show you the update after printing both of these models using the different versions. They are very, very similar. Uh, I think if I went with a smaller nozzle, I could get a lot more detail in here and a lot less stringing. So maybe we'll try that out as well and see how Arachne does pathing with a smaller nozzle and see what the time difference is if you end up with more time, a bigger time difference or a smaller one. So uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. Don't forget to check out my Kira in 5 Minutes or Less playlist. You can find that right here. And it's going to have every single setting described in 5 minutes or less in its own video. I'm currently updating it for 2021, so it should be up to date for Kira 4.8. But most of the information is good, and we'll go back to Kira 3.6. So, uh, yeah, look for that, and we'll see you in the next one. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt... The merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link, check out our Patreon link, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.